backyard shot right through my ratty looking peach tree. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Oh well, that's beautiful. <laughs> and the rainbow. Nice rainbow, huh? Woohoo! Okay folks, I uh I got it all back together. Uh it's nice and greasy now and uh Got a nice little bead of grease in here on uh, each side. A little nice bead out here. Tiny greens in there. But this thing here, I'm gonna take care of this right now. That's a little defect in the cast. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna rouge it with some JB Weld. Uh, fill in the hole as best I can. I think there's enough in here to fill that up, no problem. And then I got two pieces of belt here. And I'm just gonna Smash into the groove like that, so it makes the exact V-shape proper. Now I'm gonna put a piece of tape over it. And that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's jag in our belts here. Hopefully we got her. Yeah, it's gooping pretty good, it looks like. Yes, sir. Okay, that's all right. Gorilla tape, that's pretty tough stuff. Works fairly well, especially for this kind of crap. Okay. that a few minutes and we'll drink it apart here and see what happens yeah see the belt only went in uh, not all the way to the bottom of the groove which is normal because as the belt wears you want it to uh, still bite so I gotta have to get in there sand it out a little bit with sandpaper around my belt uh, or just a piece of sandpaper anyway looks pretty good take this on to at least the start position I had to give it a little more gas the other day to get her to go. Um, and so over here you gotta pop your uh, your compression uh, release here. So you gotta pull that open and then crank it. And then uh, when you pop that, of course it'll get some compression and bam, should take right off. So let's give it a go, see what happens. So you try to crank it like this with the compression, you see, impossible. So. Pop that compression and see if you can go. You gotta go fast. Yeah. It's got uh, 4.2 kilowatts of energy. Uh, it basically equates to 5.7 horsepower. And that's what that says. And uh, these are pretty reliable little guys from what I read about them. So anyway, it's gonna work good. She's gonna crush. Okay, folks, the second uh, try on this uh, looks pretty good. You can see the bottom of the belt was nice and flat in there. This one here, you know, I don't need the stuff in the bottom. I gotta actually uh, whittle that out of there. But the side pieces that I really wanted filled in that had some jagged edges on them uh, are perfect now. And so, yeah, I should be able to just uh, uh, I'll probably use a Dremel or something and Dremel it out or something, I don't know. Okay folks, that's basically the repair right there. You can't uh, really even see it that well by eye, let alone with the camera. Anyways, right here. Um, yep, JB Weld looked like it did a good job. And uh, like I said, I shaped it a little bit, actually with this guy here. And uh, it's kind of handy. And uh, painted it. Looks okay. Belt fits in there perfect. I think it'll be good. Hi, hi, it's another fix. Okay, folks, doing a little bit of uh, practice runs here. Just dropping in a piece, giving it a spin. That's too easy by hand, but it's not bad. There she goes. 
All right, there's a little bit of debris in there still. Let's see what we got. Woo look at that. That's good. Clearly half inch minus. That's the hinges. There's a diesel motor or diesel engine mounting plate. We'll have the adjustment back here so you can adjust the tension of the belt by raising and lowering it slightly. These will be welded to here and those will be welded right to here, right there. And then the whole plate will swivel a little bit, of course, and change this gap a little bit, which will Put some tension on the belts. We're gonna be busting rocks, baby. She's so smooth. Yeah, baby. Grease fittings, grease in here. Nice little bead of grease around there. Yeah, I think the oil might just be shipping oil, you know? Uh, you know, the little, whatever those are, I don't know why they put the darn funnel things on there. It seems like the dumbest idea on the planet, but these things are only like about a dime, so, you know, in China, they're probably a dollar here or something. <laughs> But, uh, you know, you ought to spin those in there, just so you guys know. Spin them on in there. That was pretty fast. Let's try a little bigger. Scotchy faster. Starting to bark a little bit there, put in a lot of material. Anyway, it's chunking it out like crazy now. Hey folks, this is a wrap on the video. Uh, I. Uh, I got these things up here on the trailer. I did position the uh, main jaw crusher just slightly heavy to the tongue. 
and then uh, just a tiny bit you know almost perfectly balanced actually but with this hog up here uh you know of course it's got quite a bit of tongue weight now uh, anyway i'm thinking about the positioning still um you know if i exactly want that guy just like there or whatever you know i think i'm gonna whack these guys off a smidge you know so they're not sticking out so far uh, also this here is going to be the adjustment uh for the belt tension remember i told you that as we lower this down right it's going to torque the belt um i'm basically going to weld these guys right to the top of here and then um uh, i got to cut them off first you can see they're a smidge long but uh i'm gonna zap those dogs off and then we're gonna weld them right to the top this is going to be welded right to here uh so it'll be up in there you know right underneath here uh kind of like this let me see if i can show you let me set this hog down for a second this bar off here too. Anyway, something like that. So it'll be cut off a little bit and then welded to this. And then I'm gonna also grind this guy off here. I'm gonna cut that off because it won't clear uh, this as it tips up. And uh, you can see obviously it's jacked up right now because the belts are loose. But that way I can uh, of course lower it down tighten the belts exactly what I want lock the nuts and then we're up and running um, that's one of the last things I'm gonna do that and it should be on there running good this guy's running good might have to do a couple things to it and then we're gonna get on the shaker table anyway that's a wrap baby <laughs> it's looking good it's a little bit cloudy a little windy now today supposed to rain a little bit or something possibly but it's been beautiful the last few days 80 90 degrees uh, super duper anyway i'm having a lot of fun looking at this thing we're gonna get her done baby peace you have a great day thanks for watching bye bye now